Hey everybody, it's Julie here, also known as Mrs England's Emporium. Welcome back to my channel. So today is going to be a little bit of a two topic whammy. Um, the first one is about a bag that I bought for myself that a few people have said to me, why didn't you show it? Why didn't you show it in your video? But I thought that I will show it in this video, but I'm going to talk about fakes, fake designer items contra counterfeit i listen contraband <laughs> counterfeit items how to spot them and a few tips now i am not an expert on this but i'm going to go through a few little simple things that i do and basically the way i approach looking at things to see whether they're fake or not let's get into it Okay, so I did a video recently where I had a haul and I said that I bought a bag that basically says it's a mulberry bag. Now it doesn't talk. <laughs> it has a mulberry badge on the front. I'm going to show you it again in a minute. But I bought it not because I think it's real, but just because I liked it. Now, as a reseller, I always think it's really funny because... If I find something like this and it's real, there is no way I'm going to keep it. I will sell it because that's what I do. I used to want to keep everything. And there's still a lot of things that I do want to keep in the background here. There's these lamps. So I found somewhere to put them. Um, they are on my shop, by the way. They're not just sat there. Um, yes. <laughs> I find that if I find a fake and it's a good fake, and by a good fake, what I mean is a really well made replica then i tend to keep them myself and use them myself i don't sell them um i don't particularly agree with selling them on your shop me and rob differ on this but i worry that we'll get our shop shut down no matter how you wear it you've just got to be really careful haven't you at the end of the day um cloning or whatever you call it designer goods is illegal so you've just got to be careful but I saw this in the shop. Look how lovely this is. It says, I'm not going to say it is a mulberry because mulberry, it's not. But yeah, you've got the mulberry stamp there. Now, I want you all to look at this really carefully and tell me what you think. Now, I know that's really good. And I actually took, had a double take at this and thought this is really good. And the material that it's made out of, it feels luxurious. It's heavy. It's thick. It feels like leather. The press studs, yeah, it's got like a real nice press stud detail in. The zip is big and thick, nice condition. Inside, lovely lining. And then you've got this bit as well at the top. There's a zip pocket inside, look. Right, so what I'm going to talk about here is how I believe this is a fake. Now, as I've said, I am not an expert, but this is the th these are the things I look for when I find a alleged designer item. So with this bag, it has this on the front. Now this looks great. It looks really authentic. Mulberry and the mulberry is all the same depth in the stamping of the word it looks like it is placed nicely on here and then it's got est 19, 1971 and it's got the tree now i haven't really looked at a mulberry stamping and a mulberry bag before up close and personal but that to me looks really good looks authentic it's a nice expensive thing and it's it's actually fixed on really well the material is lovely. Now, this bag has hardly been used. There is no marking, no scratching, nothing on it at all. But the first thing I look at when I see a bag like this is the zips. 
So and the, and the actually the button. So the first thing is the press stub because that's the thing you come across. So I open this up and there is. What does that say on it? There is some marking, but it does not say mulberry. And the same with this, nothing, no stamping. Now I know on a lot of designer bags, you get the stamping on the buttons. Also, yeah, your um, shoulder strap, you'll usually get mulberry written here or here. There is nothing on here and that's quite uneven. Now that could just be that it's bended a little bit and it might be the style of buckle that doesn't let you stamp on it but there's no stamping on anything so I always look at the all of the hardware parts on a designer bag normally I would say you get stampings on the hardware and there's nothing then I go to the zip the zip is a really good quality zip but no stamping on the zip now that I would think is definitely a no no so the other zip is exactly the same and the other button this button actually says it's got a number on it note d 8831628 and then it says number 89333138a now again I might be wrong but for me these would be stamped I would have thought and there's no stamping inside as well if this was genuine mulberry i'd be expecting to see some sort of leather or metal thing that said mulberry inside like a tag or a label and there's nothing and there is no material label nothing at all um but inside in this big bit there is a made in china label now I don't know where mulberry bags are made, but I don't think it's China. Um, so yeah, I would check up on that. So basically, looking at the zips, looking at the buckles on the straps, looking at all the hardware, looking at the inside, no label, no tag, nothing. The only thing that says mulberry is right there. So what do you think? I think from this investigation that this is definitely a fake, um, which is very disappointing. Look, even this bag, even this zip here, nothing on it. And inside again, just the lining. Now it's made really well. Let's have a look. Oh, the stitching as well. That's another thing. The stitching around the zip, look how uneven it is. It's actually wonky. This bit goes like this diagonal and that goes diagonal wonky stitching the zip is wonky as well so yeah definitely a fake always look for things like that when you're looking at designer items same with clothing um clothing and things clothing mainly usually has an rn number or the equivalent of inside a lot of the newer stuff has holograms or the little QR code um, with trainers as well the same again QR code the best thing to do is put in the code that's on the trainer there's like inside the sole inside the tongue sorry there's usually a code and if you put that into google it'll come up with that exact trainer if it's not a fake loads of things you can do but let me know what you think are there any are there any tips and tricks you can share in the comments to help people with looking whether things are fake or not like I say, I'm not an expert, but I just wanted to explain with this bag and show this bag because loads of people have asked to see it, um, how I knew that was fake or how I thought that was fake. I do 100% believe it is because um, there's nothing there to show me that it is a real Mulberry bag. Like I say, it's a very heavy, lovely bag, but I've had, I've seen fakes like this before and kept them when I've bought them because um, I thought they were good and then got them home and realised, yeah, they really aren't. But that will be a bag I am using. <laughs> if you'd like to support my channel, give us a like, subscribe, it's free. If you want to, send me over a thank you donation for any help that I've given you. Buy me a coffee link is in the description. 
and I also have the super thanks now on the bottom where you like so thank you ever so much anybody that does that will get a mention in future videos so I will see you all soon thank you so much for all your support ta-ta